Welcome to my screencast Data Mining with Power Query. What I want to show to you today is how we can use the Excel 2007 data mining add-on to load data from Power Pivot into. So what, what I've done is I have loaded the Excel 2007 add-on into my Excel 2010 client. One thing to, to make sure is that you have the 32 bits Excel 2010 client because the, the data mining add-on is also 32 bits. So we have to load the 32 bits Excel 2010 and the 32 bits Power Pivot client. Okay, well, what are we going to do? We're going to do, I have already loaded some data into Power Pivot from the AdventureWorks queue. I've got customers, I've got dates, geography, internet sales, and I've got the sales territory. What I want to determine is whether or not someone is a big bike buyer. And a big buy buy bike buyer is someone who bought nine or more bikes. We're going to do, to do this by using DAX. And we're going to look into our effect internet sales table and determine how much bikes he has bought for each customer in the customers table we have more than one effect internet sales when he's bought more than one bikes so we're going to count the rows available in effect internet sales belonging to this customer thus being the number of bikes bought so we do a count of rows of our re related table, a related table looks all the related rows of the fact internet sales belonging to this row in the dim customers. So when nine or more bikes has been bought, nine or less in this case, less than nine bikes, you are no big bike buyer and else you are a big bike buyer. So when we apply this, okay. What you now can see is we have, so these guys have bought nine or more bikes. Okay. I'm going to do a rename column, big bike buyers. We want to use all these uh, determined statistics on all these customers. So we're going to switch to my workbook. I'm going to use the flattened pivot table. I'm going to use it in an existing worksheet. So I want to put all my customers in here. Okay. Okay. Now, what, what do I want? I want to know their names. Okay. I want to know their marital state. I want to know their gender. I want to know their yearly income. I want to know that there are a total of children and I want to know the number of children at home okay and I want to know how many is there a house owner okay and I want to know whether or not they are big bike buyers okay in order to use it into our data mining tools we can do some tricks first of all we do not want to see set totals anywhere to use these values in our data mining Excel tool, we need to convert it from a pivot table to a regular table. It now is a pivot table, but pivot table isn't available in data mining. So we can convert the values to formulas. And as you can see, the values has now been converted to formulas and it's no longer a pivot table. It's just regular data with, some, uh, with Excel functions which fill the values. We now can convert it to a regular table. Okay. So we now have a regular table and you, you see immediately we've got table tools and analyze, an analyze. So what we're going to start with is we're going to look at what are our key influencers to being a big bike buyer. So we want to look at what influences the big bike buyers the most. Okay, let's run. What he's doing, he's loading this data into my local analysis services. Okay, this screen shows us our two major influencers on being a big bike buyer. As we can see here, being single does not favor being a big bike buyer. Being married favors in being a big bike buyer. How surprisingly so. What else is available with the analytics add-in? We can use the highlight exceptions to highlight any exceptions in the data the model can rec recognize. 
when we run it you see, you will see he detects 429 different highlights mostly in the yearly income and number of children when we're going to look at the data we can see that some people he will highlight it in the data and what's the exception for example this mr alexander has five children but he's single okay it's possible but he has an only a yearly income of 60,000 and he's no children at home so he's okay maybe he's divorced he's living elsewhere this mrs allen earns a lot of money and we, we don't want to be uh, rude but the analytics tool says this is not okay next we're going to do a forecasting report on our sales by the year we're again going to use a flattened pivot table we are going to load into our screen we're going to use existing worksheet we already set up the year month so we see all the months I have available and now I want to uh, look at my sales from Europe so we do a calculate sum fact internet sales amount and then the sales amount we, o we only want the sales from Europe so we say dim sales territory group is Europe as we say Europe check formula and you can see the result here we've got only the sales from Europe we want to add some more okay, we're going to edit this formula and we're going to add North America as well we want to see the sales from North America And again, we're going to put this pivot table into a regular table by using the OLAP tools over the formulas. One difference is we've got in this field, we've got a cube number and this one. And when it says formulas and headers will be removed into static text, do you want to continue? No. So we need to fill an extra line then do it again and we type this in ourselves so we keep these values Europe we say US okay I'm going to delete the last month because I know this isn't a, a full month so it would give us different uh, values now we've got it in the table we can again go to analyze and we have a forecast button you can click the forecast button I want to forecast Europe and the US I want to forecast six months ahead because we've got year months and I can run it the data is then being loaded into analysis services data mining model and the data mining model calculates the sales of the up upcoming months it even puts it back into our table so we can use the values for a later stage I hope this short screencast has given you an idea of what is possible with power pivot when using with data mining data mining normally needs to have a lot of setup by using SQL by using uh, all kinds of tricks with DAX you can make some business rules very quick and easy when using uh, those functions and you can then use those functions to analyze the data with your Excel data mining tools thank you for watching